today on a lovely Sunday and bottling a few hundred liters of vino from La Marque here local. So we've got, um, this is kind of an annual tradition of ours, and we will get vino sfuso, which is loose wine, and we will bring it, we'll go to the different wineries, we don't make it ourselves, and we will go to the different wineries, get uh, hundreds of liters of this loose wine, and we will bring it home, bottle it, cork it, and then label it, and we will share it here at our farmhouse all season long. So let me show you a little bit closer of what we're doing. All right, one sec. Here we go. So Jason is good at the precision of the filling. So you want to tell him what you're doing? Yep, so we bring it home in these demijohns. This is a glass demijohn with a uh, wicker basket or with a basket around it. They're 50, these are 54 liters. They make many different sizes, but the standard ones are 54, which produces 72 bottles. And we have this little uh, imbuto contraption, and I'll show you here what it does. As soon as it, yep. Okay, hold on, let me shut off the wine. As soon as it gets to the level with this little plunger thing, thingy robber, as soon as it gets to, where's one that I can put in? There it is. Okay. When the wine arrives. Hello. There we Where go. are we going? When the wine arrives at the plunger, the plunger pushes up and stops the stops it from coming. And it just so happens that when you pull it out, it's at the perfect, perfect uh, level. So if you can get it right, if you can get your little thing going right. So the white we are um, pouring right now is Verdicchio Classico from Sartorelli. And as you can see, we have our whole setup here. And I'll show you the little label here. Sartorelli. 13%. They are a very award-winning <laughs> winery here. And now we're going to probably switch off. So Jason is going to switch and you're going to get me with the next step. So I have already gone through and it's really important to check each bottle. If you have friends or family or in our case sometimes guests helping you, um, sometimes they pour a little higher up um, as Jason was filling, but he's got the nice touch. So I will always go back through and recheck every bottle and it's going to also depend on the cork because we only want about a little finger of air between the top of the wine and the cork. If you've got it touching, no good. Too much air, no good. It's all about the proper amount of space in between. So I'll just take this nice little uh, beaker, fill each one up, um, top them off precisely. Then we've got this great corker, classic, simple. You just have, it has a spring, you drop your bottle in. And then over here, we've got our corks that have been soaking in white wine. And this is a bit of, to clean them off, a bit to lubricate them. And I don't know why, but we were just told to do it. So that's how it works here. All right, get my feet, get out of there. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three. Do it from this angle so you can see it. That's a good one. All right, we'll do it again here. So we drop it down. Here we go. And if you get up close, you'll be able to see it go right in. One, two, three. No, nope, it's too dark. Okay, one, two, three. We'll try it one more time. Nope. All right. Well, we've got a ton of work to do <laughs> and no time to just uh, sit and do Facebook videos. I'll show you what else is going on really quick. You can see behind the wine, we've got a bunch of our starters. You want to tell them what's going on over here, Jay? Oh, yeah. Um, most of everything's in the garden, but we still have to put in. These are um, watermelons they are going in today. Jalapenos are still little babies. And these are some more zucchini. And some tomatoes to fill the holes. We had four or five tomato deaths. <laughs> what do you have in the garden? What, what are we talking? Should we take a walk over? Yeah, we can take a walk over. It, we have everything. We have potatoes and zucchini and three or four different types of zucchini and melon and uh, tomatoes. This and it might get... Whoop! Didn't mean to, sorry. <laughs> um, how do I switch it back? There we go. Sorry about that, guys. Um, it's a little blown out, but you can see how big the garden is below. We'll have to do another garden video 
but we're looking good. We are looking good. So back to work, bottling the vino. Like I said, it is um, kind of an annual tradition. We end up with, this year we'll end up with about 300 liters. The white we're doing now, the next will be a Montepulciano San Giovese blend from Vignamato. And both of these wineries are near Yesi, um, here in Pesaro, or actually I think they're in Ancona, uh, but here in La Marque. So we hope you're able to visit us here at our lovely little farmhouse here in La Marque. And you can check out our website, latavlamarque.com. All right, ciao, ciao.